But first, we start with Friday Night Lights because the kids in action tonight. <laughs> so let's jump out to this one. CSL love the kids. Wildcats hosting the Huskies at Huff High School. Let's get into this one. Second quarter, three nothing Huskies. Lake Norman knocking on the door, and it's on fourth down. Can they get through on the scrum? They go to the video replay up in the booth <laughs> in New York, and they say. No! Oh, wow. Come on, refs. Turnover on downs going the other way. Now, Huff driving Elijah McWilliams. He takes the handoff off the middle. You want to get that ball in the outside hand, son, so you don't fumble and then lose it, but he doesn't. He holds on to it high and tight. We're good. We're in the red zone. Play that funky music. Next play, Tad Hudson finds Tyler Hoff. Ooh, at he's the got a gun. One yard line. Takes three boys to take him down. Will Kubazowski. Recovers for the Wildcats on that fumble. No way! That ball came out. I looked somewhere else for a second. Good heavens. <laughs> and the words of Eric Collins. Good golly, Miss Molly. After forcing the punt, huh, looking for a score Yo, before the half. He just holds the ball out there, huh? 20? <laughs> he said high and tight. Come on, 20. Huff would take a 10 nothing lead, and they would hold on 24-9. to nine. All right, let's get to maybe the game of the night. Myers Park. Taken on Butler in a battle of unbeatens. I mean, they're both 2 0, so it's very early. It's still unbeaten, <laughs> though. Third quarter of this one, Mustangs down 7 0. Jacob Newman on the carry. He reaches over the goal line, nine yards out, game tied at 14. We go ahead to the fourth quarter. Butler inside the five. Devion Nelson bulls his way into the end zone, so the Bulldogs now in front 21 to 14. Nine minutes to go in the ball game. Lucas Lenhoff, he's got a gun and he wants to show it off. Finds his man Cam Thornton down the sideline. His second of the night and the game is tied at 21. So you get it, we're going back and forth, back and forth. 40 seconds to go in the ball game. Butler down by a field goal, so they got to get at least into field goal range. Parrish Metzger, great throw and better grab by Eli Sylvester. Down at the 20-yard line, seven seconds to go. So Butler's going for the 45-yard attempt. Elijah Sweat goes down. The kick is blocked, and the Mustangs get to 3-0 with the win, 24-21. Watch the ice, young man. Mooresville and Vance. Let's go third quarter. Vance leading already 14-0. We know they have a storied program, and here they go one more time. Joseph Morris gets the pitch, runs it in easily. Mooresville defense. Not so hot, not so much. 21 nothing. Mooresville now trying to make that comeback. Glenwood Robinson doing his part. He gets in and hits pay dirt 21 7. But Vance, they just too good, boy. Inside, outside. Get that ball on the outside arm, number three. I don't want to see it there, Dylan Smothers. You understand me, young man? Okay, 28 Coach Conkle. 7. <laughs> Vance again, still in the third. Asuani Allen. He runs it in. He takes it in 26 yards later. That's worth six points. Vance wins 42 to 14. Honestly, everybody's a strength. We have great raw receivers. We have great, a great quarterback. We have three running backs that's really unstoppable. So you just have to choose your poison. I like that confidence. Daddy. Okay, let's get to this game. Mallard Creek, it is rare for them to be 0-2 on the season, but they are 0-2. New coach this season. Mallard Creek driving. Xavier Brown, quick pass to P.J. Hinton. Spinning and winning. 6-0, Mallard Creek. You want to win? Put Booby in. Watch Booby spin. <laughs> Next drive for Mallard Creek. West Charlotte trying to stay in the game. The sack there by Shiondel Slade. Still no scoring for West Charlotte. Next drive for Mallard Creek. Brown with oh. the ball again. Launches that one. Great catch caught by A.J. Davis. Nice play there. 12-0 still in the first creek with the ball. Throws to DeMonte Furman who takes the catch. Takes the contact into the end zone. 19-0. You get it. Creek goes on to win big. First win of the season, 40 to 18. Let's keep this one rolling. How about West Mecklenburg High School and Audrey Cal? That is a good ball, but it's to the wrong team. So mm. that's less than ideal. Interception. And uh, what, what's good of one is good of two, right? That's what they say, I guess. Interception again. <laughs> no bueno. <laughs> you hate to see that. But, I mean, this kid's airing it out, so I'm all for it. It's good for highlights. I don't care if it's a touchdown, it's an interception. You throw the ball deep and it doesn't hit the ground. We got a good highlight here for Charlotte Sports Live. Audrey Cal wins this one. There is a touchdown in this game, by the way. See, that's the there right guy. That's how you get points on the board. 42 to 7, your final. Now let's talk a little Sun Valley taking on Charlotte Catholic. Sun Valley, the house that Sam Howell built, by the way, but they're on the road at Catholic. <laughs> Running back Jaden Goler 
Goes 15 yards down the sideline. Long pass to wide receiver Brant Westbrook for the Westbrooks, that is, for the Sun Valley touchdown. They were down big at this point, but we wanted to show them a highlight to make them feel good on a Friday night because that was the big highlight because they lose big to the Cougars 51-7. to 7.